All right, got the surfaces prepped. Looking ready to weld. This is what I'm going to be installing, which is why I need to weld an extra bung on this exhaust system. All right, so let's get at it. Oh, and if you're... sensors plugged in here's the old one I use just to make sure that you know yeah it helped with welding my bungs on and everything making sure it was gonna fit Wow try again there we go all right all that's left is the wide band but before I do that I'm gonna put this in And then we're going to do the wide band after. I might even pull it, the car into here. Because it's a shit storm out there. I'll go show you. Check it out. I mean, let me tell you, it is raining. Where's the lights? Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if you can really hear that or see that, but it's raining. I ain't going out there unless I have to, which I have to. All right. We got the old bitch running again. Got the little bro code man up in the hizzy. We out here. Got the whip in the garage. Now that it's cleaned up somewhat. A little bit of walkway. A little bit of walkway. Just enough. We're gonna be hooking this bitch in. Whoop whoop. Wide band. Low shift. Okay. This was kind of awkward and hard to show, but there is the O2 bomb we're gonna use right here. But. I don't know if I'm really going to be able to record me putting this in just because of one-handed problems and shit, but alright, I'm going to put that in and then we'll, we'll go from there. Alright, this is the kit in all its glory. Some instructions, plain and simple to read, easy, it's not like made in China bullshit, so easy to read. This is um, some cords going to this brain box right here, which in the wrapper you can't really see it but I'll show you guys a better picture of that later but this these two will plug into that this one directly plugs into the gauge and then to this box and then you got this the O2 cord that plugs into this box and then on the under other end of that plugs into your wideband sensor and then it displays on the gauge and then this is kind of bonus content you can hook this into your box and if you have a standalone ECU they have some extra wires here so you can set triggers and make it a little bit more functional for your ECU to calibrate the feel air ratio if you're running boost or something. That might be something we do later on down the road, but right now I'm just running stock ECU, so this serves me no purpose. But honestly, the wideband still works plenty good enough without having that part hooked on. So we're going to get at it. I'll kind of do the best I can to show and explain everything while I do it in real time. 
But that means I gotta get under there. And it's cold. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes, let it warm up in this. Chill, Mo. Chill. Chill. Alright, if you're gonna run Glow Shift, this is that brain box I was talking about earlier. That's gonna calibrate all the information being sent to it and then feed it to your gauge. But it comes with four wires that are mandatory to connect, not necessarily all of them. Um, all right, let's go over it real quick. Okay, yellow. Yellow is constant source power. So unswitched, which would mean like a battery, for instance. You could just hook that one right up to the battery if you really wanted to, because that's constant. Then, but I'm gonna do this a different way. But then you got red. 12 volt ignition source, so switch. So when the key is turned on, that's what switch is. So that's your that's your red. So we got yellow and red are both powers. Orange, you actually don't need to run that one. Orange is a switched headlamp source optional. So I'm assuming that's like to trigger the lighting effect of your thing for to come on only if you turn your headlights on kind of a thing so we're not we're, this is we're not gonna worry about that we'll cap that or something or maybe we'll run it we'll see but then black is obviously a ground and well that's basically your setup super simple super basic we got a ground we got a switch and then we got an unswitch constant source so ignition constant ground plus a Technically, you would call this another switch, but this would be like a, I don't know, an optional. That's why it's optional on there. I'm not really too familiar on what the orange one would really do. I mean, we might figure that out on this episode or YouTube video, whatever. All right. So I'm going to start hooking this up and then figure out getting it powered on and all that and then... We're gonna try and figure out how we're gonna run this wire, because it is really long. I mean, I guess we could snip it, cut it up a little bit if we need to, but honestly, I don't really, I mean, not this one. I mean, we could, but I don't wanna try and repin that, so we're not gonna cut that one, but I mean, this, I don't know. It's long, lengthy, but it's all right. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna clean it up. We're gonna make it look good. We're gonna figure it out. I already got the grommet right here pulled in case I decide to run it that way. So, but all right, back to it. So we fed it through a grommet right under the brake booster through the firewall. Oh, still got this bright light pointing in the face. All right, through the firewall. So through here into the box and then this is what we still need to wire in for the power and whatnot but all that's left is for the gauge which we are pretty much finishing up that's where it's gonna go in here and then this is for that other switch and the gauge is gonna go right there and then we're gonna I have the gauge wire through there, under here, into the box. And we're gonna plug it up somewhere nice, up in here, somewhere neat where you'll never see it. And the gauge will just sit right here. Perfect. Bada bing, bada bam. You know what I mean? All right, but we ain't there yet. Still got a little work to do. Okay, everything's wired up, tucked up. We're ready to go. So. Second to calibrate. It does take a second to calibrate, I will say that, but I've noticed because I play with it a couple times. If you leave your key in and let it like warm this part up where it does that, then it calibrates a little faster on the initial startup. But you know, there you go, we're running. Pretty optimal. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. A little little yeah no it's pretty optimal it's actually pretty pretty much perfect yeah that's awesome well mission accomplished and we can do this now oh 
man, wait, let me get the, let me get a light in here for this, because it's a little bit like that ASMR. Oh, man, where is my light? Of course, of course, I'll be right back. Okay, we got the light on it now, just for this. I want to make sure we, oh, can we, can we? Actually, I don't think you guys really get that ASMR effect of peeling off fresh plastic. That's alright though. It's working. It's working good. No more check engine light. Woohoo! So we're making we're making moves. I'm just gonna let it warm up for a bit and then start taking the wheels off and getting to work on the suspension because that's gonna be what's next is the suspension and that'll be pretty much it. And we're gonna drop it back down on all fours and I'm gonna go cruising see how she does hopefully by the way her name Jackie hopefully Jackie because she's annoying like that chick off that 70s show so <laughs> yeah hopefully Jackie should be good to me now 